You need to have some knowledge of Linux, right? So you, I think you mentioned Kali in the book. Yeah, it's helpful, but um, it's not really necessary, I would say. And the good thing with Kali is that it's it comes with a lot of like pre-installed helpful tools. But yeah. I find that a lot of that is actually not necessary for a lot of bug bounty hunters because it really depends on um, what kind of bugs you specialize in. I actually don't use Kali. Um, so it's helpful to know a little bit about how to use the command line. But again, that's not necessary. Extremely helpful, but not necessary. Uh, programming too. I think it's extremely helpful to know how to program, but not necessary at the same time. That's my next question. Do I need to learn to code? I know a lot of bug hunters who are successful and don't program. Learning programming is really useful for starting to learn how to automate a lot of the you know the tedious parts of bug hunting like reconning or scanning any recommendations is it javascript is it python is it go what what language do you recommend if i if i want to learn one which one would i start with um so i recommend learning python and bash scripting because these tend to be the most convenient for automation and you can use any of the online tutorials, really. I, I think I learned programming by using Codecademy. Um, there are so many resources online right now for learning programming. After you get used to like the syntax of a programming language, you can start building a small program to get really used to the language and start using it in a practical way. So in my book, I have a chapter where I talk about how to build a really simple re- recon script uh, step by step. So that's like a really good um, example project to start off writing some code to automate hacking. And what I found was that after I implemented automation into my bug counting uh, regimen, it, it got so much more enjoyable and so much faster because I can actually automate uh, away a lot yeah. of the boring tasks. Once you've learned to code, you can't go back because of exactly that, right? You can create code that just saves you so much time. So I'm a firm believer in coding and Python, I agree, is a fantastic way to start. That's for sure. And I think um, after you start bug bounty hunting a while, you'll actually find that a lot of the tasks are quite repetitive. Like let's say that you are looking for a vulnerability called subdomain takeover. So what you have to do for to find that vulnerabilities is that you have to scan the company's subdomains and you have to look for certain signatures on those pages to see if they're vulnerable to takeovers. All of that is actually like automatable, right? Eventually, I think I built like a, it's just a single Python script that was finding all these subdomain takeovers for me. And I didn't have to do anything. It would have been horrible if I have to look for thousands and thousands of subdomains manually, right? And it's just not practical because someone else would have an automation script and someone else would find the vulnerability faster than you. That's a real advantage of um, automating your bug boundaries. 